the United Nations Security Council is visiting four West African countries that are being affected by the Boko Haram terrorist group. Niger, Nigeria, Chad, and Cameroon all face a serious humanitarian crisis. And Fidel Zimba joins me now in the studio to shed some light on what's happening there. So the culmination of this visit should be a clear agreement with the countries involved that are hosting refugees who fled Boko Haram violence. So tell us what that agreement will entail. Well, the, this is actually like the first uh, major delegation from the United Nations because before now we've had um, affiliates like the uh, UNICEF, like UNHCR, raising concerns about the plight of refugees and the conditions there. Uh, now, the, both country, uh, all the countries involved, that's Nigeria, Niger, Cameroon, and Chad, will have to sit together and agree on the modalities for voluntary repatriation of those who actually want to return back to Nigeria. Because most of these refugees we're talking about were people displaced from Nigeria who fled into these neighboring countries. And then also to halt you know, the, uh, the repatriation of, uh, of people who were forcibly taken back to Nigeria. Because just recently, about 500 Nigerians were sent back, not minding the mm. conditions. Because they fled because their place was not safe. And now you're forcing them to go back to that very place, which is actually going to expose them to either being killed or for the male right. being conscripted into Boko Haram. Now, it's easy for the UN to say that these sometimes unwilling host countries have to accommodate these refugees because their lives are in danger. But they fear, particularly Cameroon has said, that there are Boko Haram infiltrators coming in with these, with these groups of refugees that puts Cameroonian security in danger. How can the UN secure or, yeah, ensure rather that this will not happen, that these refugees will be screened, Cameroon will remain safe? What kind of help can the UN give to this process? The UN has been asking for more than $700 million as more like the first installment of uh, funds they need to be able to properly, first of all, uh, ensure that these refugees have access to good food because mm. the major problem is most of them are not even well fed. And then in terms of security, they also have, the country is requesting for more training for their people, also funding, because if you're going to deploy special troops to man, especially the border across uh, Nigeria, Niger, Cameroon, and Chad, it's a very difficult terrain. It's not just where you send people. You have the Lake Chad, which actually, which is the largest lake on that Lake Chad region. Uh, and it's, I think there are about 68 million people who live along this Lake Chad. And the more people cross and attack each other, which is, it puts so much pressure on these host countries. So it, the first instance, in terms of screening, it's been so tough for Cameroon, especially because we've had cases of, even when they try to screen the boys, then you have little girls mm -hmm. who strap bombs to themselves and they explode. So it's a case of providing them, apart from funds, also giving them the required equipment mm -hmm. that they need in order to be able to secure their borders. Right. Okay, Fidelis. We'll leave it there for now. Thank you so much for coming in.